I, I think ever since the story, ever since you revealed that, that this happened, there mm -hmm. have been people who really support you, and then the critics who, who say that, um, you know, Dr. Berger wasn't terminally ill. He, he could have lived for many years further. Um, <coughs> what, what do you have to say to those people? Mm. I would ask those people not to judge me, certainly not to judge me, to look at Dr. Berger, put themselves in his position, a quadriplegic, unable to move your arms or legs, totally dependent on everything, on, on other people for every aspect of your life. Then add in torturous pain, almost every waking minute. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, would you want to live? And some people might still say they'd want to live, and good on them. That is their choice. It should also be Dr. Berger's choice to die. Mm -hmm. to, to live or die is no small question but it must be based on the individual's choice. Yeah. And at the moment, that is not respected by the law. Yeah, well, no. correct me if I'm wrong, mm. Dignity SA is campaigning um, for the terminally ill to be able to have the choice to die. Would this situation fall into what they're campaigning for? At the moment, we're reviewing our criteria mm -hmm. for applying for an assisted death. Publicly at the moment, we're saying it's for the terminally ill, but in the next few days or weeks we're going to be um, giving another statement after a detailed review of our criteria okay. and we're expecting to include quadriplegics or people with a severe physical disability and people with irrecoverable illnesses. Now I know Archbishop Tutu is a strong supporter of Dignity SA mm -hmm. um, in helping the terminally ill choose to die. Does he support um, this side of it as mm -hmm. well? I haven't spoken to Archbishop mm -hmm. Tutu about this. But I do know in the article published in the Guardian newspaper, he also mentioned a case of Craig Schoeningville, yeah. who committed suicide in Port Elizabeth, and how understanding he was of that, that young man's desire to die. Wow. I, yeah, I, I can add that since this story has broken about mm. Dr. Berger, I have had numerous requests from people wanting to die. I'm not going to see them or become involved in, in their desires, but those people cover all, all races, all cultures, all language groups in our country. Mm -hmm. I've been contacted by a quadriplegic Muslim, desperate to die, who said it's not within their faith to commit suicide, but life is unbearable as a quadriplegic. I've been contacted by a quadriplegic Hindu. It doesn't matter what your race, what your background, mm -hmm. some people are going to end up in this terrible situation of having a car accident and being paralysed. Let's respect their wishes if they want to die. Now, if another friend of yours approached you and wanted to die because they'd been in a car accident or were terminally ill, would you help them do that? I couldn't go through this again. Mm -hmm. I, Dr. Berg was a very close friend, and it was a terrible loss for me. It wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. By being with him at the end, by helping him, was an act of love for Dr. Berger. I don't want to be in that situation again. I'd rather change the law so I don't have to be in that situation. All right. Now, since the news broke, some people have, have come out and said that after you came, came out and spoke about your mother assisting her and now assisting Dr. Berger, that you, you must not enjoy doing it, but, but you must be... I don't know what another word is for it, um, but that it mustn't affect you, I guess, is what some people are saying. Um, obviously, it does affect you. You said it made you very emotional. You don't want to lose a friend. Mm -hmm. What would you say to those people? Well, I always say, don't judge me until you put yourself mm -hmm. in the same position. Okay, maybe it doesn't look good having helped two people to die, but keep in mind, both those people were medical doctors. Mm -hmm. They knew all the medicines available. My mother went on a hunger strike. Yeah. She was ending her own life. If you stop eating, there's only one outcome, you die. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it went horribly wrong. Um, she ended up rotting in her own bed. And at that point, she couldn't move her arms or her legs. She was basically a quadriplegic. At that point, incapable of ending her own life. She was begging for help to die, just as Dr. Berger was begging for help to die. Mm 